Good afternoon, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. It's a beautiful fall day in Michigan. I'm out inspecting 1970 Pontiac Trans Am Ram Air 3 car. PHS documented. Let's go through it. Exterior body has been restored. Code 10 Cameo White. You can see I placed a couple magnets down low. They're still hanging on the car, indicating less than 20 mils. Uh, this area right here in the dog leg on both sides is lacking some adhesion. But generally speaking, the car has good magnetic adhesion. A few other spots that we've noted in uh, photographs for the potential client buying the vehicle. The doors open and close reasonably well. They're about a two to a three finger uh, slam. Let me get that. There we go. Maybe it's a three slash four. Door lines uh, look very nice on both sides. Both doors open the same way. The uh, spring that holds the door open is not currently in place on either door. Door skins are in good shape on the lips. Jams have been refinished. A uh, little less, little less sanding on the insides of the jams than on the outside of the car, but still have a pretty good presentation. Except for the belt moldings on the door sweeps, which were changed, the uh, trim on the car is primarily original. Some minor age uh, present. A little bit of uh, light stage one hitting on the bezels and on the door handles, but uh, they fit far better than the aftermarket components that are available to service this car. That uh, piece of trim is oxidized a little, could be polished up. The grills have been replaced. I know that that's not fantastic lighting for you, but those are uh, newer units. Parking lights look to be in pretty good shape. There's a hairline crack, stress crack in that nose there, and a small crack right there beneath the headlight. But shooting down the sides of the car, the car was uh, blocked out pretty straight, pretty flat. It's forgiving. White cars always are. Light yellow the same way. A little bit of color sanding could be done to improve the finish inside there. BFGs, these are 14 inch original wheels. Uh, they've been refinished. Original caps are showing a little bit of pitting and age. This front left wheel shows a little bit of uh, pitting in the surface. And uh, caps are in about the same shape. Uh, interior wise, nearly uh, everything soft in the car was changed or repainted. Code uh, 201 per trim tag. And the final was upgraded. Seat covers, headliner, visors. This dash was taken out and repainted. And it presents very nicely. No major cracks. A little bit of uh, chippage right there that was touched up. Original glove box, ashtray, radio, original fish scale plate. It shows a little bit of age and deterioration. Original gauges. Car showing 61,700 miles. Original column. A few small marks uh, there, but Trans Am steering wheel is in good shape. Uh, glove box door needs to be affixed down there. Original Firebird manual in place. New pedal rubbers. New shifter boot and bezel. The seat backs were restored. A few uh, Scratches were painted over. These were repainted, these quarter panel trim pieces. Aftermarket pieces just don't fit that good. So these were reused. A few small chips. New seat belt nylons were added. Package tray is a replacement aftermarket piece in a close blue, a close blue match. Uh, dome light's not currently operating. I earlier had it jacked up for the potential buyer and uh, we took photos underneath the floors. This is a red oxide primer that's been reapplied to the floors with uh, while the subframe was in place. These subframe bushings down here were changed. Uh, 
Um, these subframe bushings up here are original, still showing some pancaking. Floors are in good solid shape, evidence of, uh, of replacement floor pans. Transmission 3925661 cast Muncie with a February assembly date and a correct corresponding VIN number. So that transmission is numbers matching. Doesn't appear that it's been out uh, recently. We'll take it for a drive and see how it shifts. The uh, fuel tank's been out and changed. These are original springs with some uh, helpers added. Original uh, sway bar application. Again, the red oxide primer looks really nice. It's a nice level of detail to a non-frame off car. There's a GM 10 bolt test dated from February of 71. This car was a March build, uh, 03C, 1970. So we know that rear end is not an original component to this car. Leaf spring bushings are showing some age cracks. Uh, this balance panel in the rear underneath the bumper. Uh, spot welds look real good. This one, this is lacking adhesion. This is an original panel that's probably had a few coats of filler to block it out nice. New rear bumper. Some of the original uh, fuel lines and brake lines, clips, etc. Exhaust has been repainted two and a quarter inch aluminized, maybe a two inch. Got a slight leak up front. Let's get a look at the front suspension. There are some uh, spring helpers added and the front suspension does not appear to have been restored. Some cracking in the um, control arm bushings. But we'll get it down the road see how it drives. Took the digital meter in addition to magnets all the way around it and uh, readings were good anywhere from 6 to 15 mostly throughout the car. Last look at the front suspension. It's in a solid shape. It's probably seen some maintenance over the years. Uh, not necessarily taken apart and restored, but in uh, reasonably good shape. No damage evident in the uh, uh, rails ahead of the spring pockets. No damage uh, noted when I had it jacked up looking at the uh, extensions out to the front subframe. That all looked really good. Engine appears to have been out and rebuilt. No uh, active leaks coming out the front or rear main seals. Leaves are falling on it faster than I can pick them off. But the car uh, presents very nicely with very recent repaint work. Uh, overall from the exterior appearance. It's a Norwood uh, assembled body 03C, third week in March. WS4 package and like I said, original 10 Ted. 1010 Cameo upper and lower paint. We're getting ready to take it for a uh, test drive. Cold start 68 degrees. It's good and cold today. Um, assembly in suffix code properly noted WS indicating a uh, 345 horse hooked to a manual stock conventional ignition back there still. We took that all apart correct engine casting uh, 9799914 way back there couldn't get to an assembly date a little bit of dust could be cleaned up from the body shop a little bit of detail work uh, added to the motor the VIN is properly affixed to the bottom of this block we cleaned that and verified it if I'm be able to hit it with my camera but uh, I can't see, hopefully you can. It's down there. I hear a bit of an exhaust leak on this uh, right bank. No evidence of uh, smoke coming out of the car. Maybe a little 
little bit of an exhaust noise on this side as well. It is raining leaves here today. A0870, A080. We're gonna take this for a quick run before the rain starts coming down. Well, I feel bad taking the guy's white car out in the rain. But we're up here to do an inspection up in northern Michigan today. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, autoappraise.com, 800-301-3886. If you need inspection work anywhere across the country, we got some guys out there. Go out, jack up a car, magnet test it, tell you what you're looking at. You've heard that a million times if you've seen some of my videos. Tack appears to be functioning. Might be reading a little high at three grand. Clutch a little bit. It doesn't appear to be uh, popping out of gear. You hear it barking a little. It's got a uh, date coded and VIN stamped correct M21 transmission. Assembled uh, uh, P0B. I can't remember the rest of the uh, numbers on it. P0B19. I'm going to engage the clutch off the floor a little bit. Got a little bit of a shutter first going into first going into gear. Clutch pedal is activating about 75% off the floor. Clutch feels a little worn. And the brake pedal, it's uh, it's a little low. The brakes could stand to be bled out. Power brake booster looks recently serviced. Let me get out on the road and I'll turn this back on. Fuel gauge appears to be in out. Shifting is certainly uh, is stiff. zone here. I think I got it up to about 50 or 55. I couldn't look. I'm hoping that the wipers work and they do. It's got a stock AM FM radio power steering power brakes car. Did not test that out. signals are flashing on the inside. We're gonna go down here and give it a little bit of give it a little gas, make it move. Odometer appears to be turning. Uh, horn is in on. Pulled the carb numbers but didn't have a chance to run them yet. 701. Feels like it's got a posse. I'm gonna have to shut this back off. Blower fans working on uh, the low speeds. Oh, there we go. We got it to work on the high. The car is apparently charging. Oil pressure is good. We're at about 60 pounds on that factory gauge. Temperature is just starting to come up. are kicking in. J. 
Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. I'm wrapping up an inspection, a little short due to rain, uh, on a uh, 1970 Ram Air 3 uh, Trans Am, numbers matching engine and uh, transmission. Later, one year later, rear end, the original tim trim tag appears to be in place. With a brake bleed and a new clutch, I think it'd be a little more fun to drive. Maybe a little bit of suspension work. You can hear a little bit of suspension noise. The clutch is definitely shuddering upon engagement. So uh, that's not as much fun to drive. Here's the quick recap in the wind. The headlights and the markers appear to be working. The tail lights as well. The doors are a little bit harder to close. Not new seals on there, but uh, that takes a good swing. They seem to be lined up with no bushing sag noted, but the springs, the, the locks to hold them in place open are missing. The paint shows pretty nice. Pretty difficult to find too many flaws. It's been freshly painted. Got a little bit of pitting in the wheels. And we're going to get her back before we get heavily rained on. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you need an inspection done sometime. Leave us some feedback. No apparent uh, overheating issues are noted. I'm not going to try the park and brake while I'm out this far. Uh, suspension feels pretty good for the wear that it is showing. Spring helpers front and rear, but a little bit of attention, a little bit of attention in that arena would go a long way. You can definitely hear a little bit of spring noise in the back end of the car. Trunk was restored in a plainer gray, not an aqua splatter. Got a full-size spare jack it is not present. I forgot to open that up and show it to you. Good looking driver. Last point of interest, the uh, dash lights are working, though that flash doesn't allow you to see that. Uh, warmed up oil pressure about 50 pounds. Temps running nice and cool. And the reverse lockout is working. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching.